In China, a nation defined by its vast and diverse landscape, an audacious undertaking known as the South-North Water Transfer Project has been set in motion to confront the glaring disparity in water resources between its northern and southern regions. This monumental endeavor seeks to remedy the imbalance by orchestrating the redirection of water from the water-rich south to the water-scarce north through an intricate and meticulously engineered network of canals, aqueducts, tunnels, and vast reservoirs. It is a project of unprecedented scale and ambition, one that warrants a closer examination of its underlying motivations. The complex environmental implications it poses and its profound impact on the lives and livelihoods of the Chinese people. As we embark on this exploration, we delve into the intricate interplay of environmental sustainability, infrastructural ingenuity, and the quest to ensure a more equitable distribution of this precious resource in a nation of unparalleled size and complexity. China's geography has played a pivotal role in shaping its rich history and cultural evolution. The eastern part of the country, with its fertile flood plants nurtured by the Yangtze and Yellow Rivers, has been the cradle of flourishing civilizations for thousands of years. This region's abundance of arable land and access to water resources has not only supported agriculture, but also facilitated the growth of dense and prosperous communities. On the contrary, the northern and western regions of China present an entirely different geographical story, characterized by arid landscapes and formidable mountain ranges. These landscapes limit the agricultural potential and discourage large-scale human settlements. This stark contrast in geographic characteristics has given rise to a distinct division, highlighted by a symbolic line that runs through the country. The majority of China's vast population, an astonishing 94%, calls the eastern part of the nation home, drawn to the fertile plains and the life-giving waters of the Yangtze and Yellow Rivers. This profound geographical division not only underscores the importance of geography in shaping civilizations, but also illustrates the imbalanced distribution of China's population and resources. Northern China Exemplified by major urban centers like Beijing and characterized by its dense population and thriving industries, has been locked in a relentless struggle with water scarcity that spans decades. The region's groundwater reserves, once a vital lifeline, have been extensively tapped into to satisfy the burgeoning needs of urbanization and industrialization. In addition to this formidable challenge, northern China faces the encroachment of the relentless Gobi Desert in Inner Mongolia and widespread desertification. Largely propelled by the confluence of human activities and the specter of climate change, further exacerbating the region's already complex and pressing water woes. The origins of the monumental South-North Water Transfer Project can be tracked back to a visionary proposal by Mao Zedong in 1952. At that time, Chairman Mao floated the ambitious concept of redirecting water resources from China's water-abundant southern regions to alleviate the chronic water scarcity afflicting the country's northern areas. However, it wasn't until nearly five decades later, in 2002, that this ambitious vision was translated into reality when the project received official approval from China's State Council. This timeline underscores the sheer scale and complexity of the project, which required decades of planning, engineering innovation, and overcoming numerous logistical and environmental challenges before becoming a fully sanctioned initiative. The South-North Water Transfer Project comprises three major canal systems, the Eastern, Central, and Western routes. Eastern Route This route begins near Yangzhou, drawing water from the Yangtze River. It utilizes the Jinghang Grand Canal, the world's longest artificial waterway, to transport water across the Yellow River. Aqueducts then convey this fresh water to Tianjin and Beijing. Central Route Starting at the Danjiangkou Reservoir, the central route required elevating the Danjiangkou Dam by 15 meters to facilitate the flow of water downstream. This route features a network of canals and aqueducts that traverse China's central plain and ultimately reach Beijing. Western Route This route, still in the planning stage, poses the greatest engineering challenge. 
It aims to connect the Yangtze and Yellow Rivers through the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, an area known for its high altitude and rugged terrain. Construction in this region could trigger landslides and environmental degradation. The South North Water Transfer Project, while addressing China's pressing water distribution issues, has triggered a host of significant environmental concerns. One of the most profound impacts is the alteration of natural river flows due to the extensive system of canals and aqueducts. This transformation has resulted in the disappearance of approximately 600 natural rivers, disrupting the delicate ecosystems that depend on them. Moreover, the artificial waterways have become conduits for industrial waste and sewage, primarily due to the absence of adequate water treatment facilities. This contamination poses a severe threat to water quality and aquatic life along the project's path. A particularly alarming concern arises from the reduced flow of water in the Yangtze River, which has implications for saltwater intrusion along China's coast. The potential for saltwater intrusion could exacerbate the nation's water crisis, leading to significant consequences for both agricultural and freshwater supplies. The Western Route, a component of the project, raises specific environmental red flags. This route threatens the fragile ecology of the Qinghai Tibet Plateau and its unique ecosystems. There are worries about potential landslides and seismic activity in this geologically sensitive region, highlighting the complex and multifaceted environmental challenges associated with this colossal water diversion effort. Balancing the critical need for water resources with this preservation of natural environments remains a central challenge for the South North Water Transfer Project. The South North Water Transfer Project, while undeniably addressing water scarcity issues in northern China, is a complex initiative with varied impacts across different regions of the country. In some southern provinces, particularly those located upstream in the Yangtze River Basin, such as Sichuan and Hubei, there has been notable local opposition to the project. The concern stems from the diversion of their water resources to the north, which raises fears of potential water scarcity in their own regions. Additionally, there is apprehension about the project's impact on the hydropower sectors in these provinces, which rely on the flow of water for electricity generation. These concerns highlight the intricate trade-offs and tensions inherent in large-scale water diversion projects. On the flip side, the project promises substantial regional benefits, particularly in western provinces like Gansu and Qinghai. These areas, often characterized by arid landscapes and limited water resources, anticipate significant socio-economic and agricultural stability with the completion of the western route. The infusion of water from the south could potentially transform these regions, bolstering agricultural productivity and providing a foundation for economic growth. This stark contrast in regional reactions underscores the intricate web of interests and complexities surrounding large-scale water resource management projects in China. As of the present moment, two of the three planned routes for the South North Water Transfer Project have been successfully completed and are operational, while the third, the Western Route, remains in the planning phase. Despite the significant financial investments, environmental challenges, and social considerations that have accompanied this monumental undertaking, the project has not fully realized its objective of efficiently supplying clean water to the water-scarce northern regions of China. The complex and multifaceted nature of this initiative underscores the formidable challenges associated with managing and redistributing water resources in a nation as vast and diverse as China, where the quest for a balanced water supply continues to be a work in progress. China's South North Water Transfer Project stands as a monumental engineering feat, a testament to human innovation and determination. Yet, this ambitious endeavor is inextricably entwined with profound environmental challenges that cannot be overlooked. The project's success necessitates a careful balancing act, weighing its considerable benefits, which include addressing water scarcity and promoting regional development against its substantial costs, both financial and ecological. The completion of the Western Route, in particular, looms as a pivotal decision. The debates surrounding its future have far-reaching implications, 
touching the lives of millions of Chinese citizens and the intricate ecological balance of the region it will impact. These discussions encapsulate the complexities inherent in large-scale infrastructure projects and underscore the imperative of considering not just immediate gains but also the long-term consequences for both the environment and society. The South North Water Transfer Project, while a remarkable feat of engineering, remains a dynamic and evolving narrative that will continue to shape China's water management policies and the well-being of its people for generations to come.